it's David Gluckman for Autoblog, and I'm in LA where the 405 meets the 110. This is the site of the newest Porsche Experience Center, the second one in the US. This place has the new headquarters of Porsche Motorsport North America. It has places to eat, places to shop, places to see lots of cool Porsche cars. But most important, it has this awesome test track which we're going to take a look at today. So we're on the track side of the building right now, and as you can see around me, there's some really cool stuff that has shown up for the grand opening of the Experience Center. Some 911 race cars over here, 919s over there, some of the newer Porsche products behind me. This is a Macan S that I'm going to be taking out with the help of some coaches. They're going to be showing me the various terrain parts of the track that simulate different things, different types of driving situations. We're going to get out there and have some fun. So I'm in a Macan S right now. I've got Zach in the back seat. He's one of the coaches here at the Porsche Experience Center. And Zach, uh, tell me what we're doing first here. We're going to start with our low friction turning circle, which is a polished concrete wetted surface, just like a skid pad. And this Macan S has an all-wheel drive system, so we are going to get into some advanced driving technique, trying to maintain uh, constant oversteer around the circle. This is to familiarize people with low friction surfaces at, at very low speeds and no risk. I get a little gas, I have to give some counter steering. I've got a lot of brake intervention here. You can probably hear that. I can feel it in the car. Yep. This is fun. <laughs> it's pretty simple when you do a, a rear wheel drive vehicle on here, especially a 911 since the rear has all that weight over the axle. Um, but with an all-wheel drive vehicle, there, are, there is a technique to it. Your natural inclination is to oversteer, or uh, counter-steer, sorry. Um, and here, you'd never really want to do that. If you counter-steer, that front axle is going to pull you right off to the high friction surfaces. So we want to basically get an angle that you're comfortable with, initiate, mm -hmm. and then hold that angle, angle by throttle steering. So this is the kick plate, right, Zach? This is the kick plate. Yeah, big, uh, big slip and slide for Porsches. It's an epoxy surface that's been wetted, and that uh, kick plate will kick the rear axle out randomly. Um, anywhere from 17 to 30 miles an hour is when that's activated. Um, and basically, it's just a marriage of your vision to your hands. So if you pick a space down the road where you intend for the car to go, um, your hands will follow regardless of in any anticipation uh, where it's going to kick you. So just react. Don't anticipate that. Okay, break, break, break. <laughs> All right. So I knew that was happening, <laughs> and I still wasn't able to anticipate it. So I've got Arnd in the back seat. He's uh, he's a coach here at the Porsche Experience Center, and we're entering the handling track. So tell me a little bit about this track, Arnd. Yeah, it's a total 1.3 miles long, and it's very interesting and also challenging track uh, because it has some blind corners. Um, elevations, off-camber corners. So it's really an interesting track that people would like to come back and experience more. All right, putting in Sport yeah. Plus so we can activate launch control. And then pull on the brakes. Pull on the, the left brake. foot. Yep. Pull on the throttle. And then release the brake. Whoa! Whoa. We're beating traffic on the 405 right now. Here we break and we turn here to the right and then we go into the carousel, Nürburgring carousel. It's a one-to-one -one copy of the Nürburgring carousel. So you've replicated the carousel at the Nürburgring, the famous bank turn. Yes. Down to the, I think, 33 degrees banking. Yeah. But no graffiti, I notice here. <laughs> this is a very clean pavement. That was fun. This track isn't for lap times, right? This is for people to come and experience Porsches. It's more modeled after, I think, country roads. Is that correct? Right, correct. It's a ton of fun. I highly recommend this track. So that's just a taste of the Porsche Experience Center. If you're ever out in LA, I highly recommend coming and stopping by, checking out the track, or just getting a bite to eat in the cafe or the restaurant. It's a great place to come and look at Porsches and experience what they have to offer. For Autoblog, I'm David Gluckman.